I do to quite a few of my new ones, yeah. That your love life's gonna get a lot worse. Well, the best advice I ever got was um, to keep your heart safe and your music dangerous. Mm. And I live by that, so that would be my piece of advice too. It's good. Um, I just don't really have much time to do it. Probably when she moved back in with me when I was 21, I was really falling apart and she lovingly put me back together. No, because she's still my mother, so she still thinks that she can tell me what to do. It felt like I had to. It was right around the corner from where my house in London is, and it was, you know, it was overtook the UK. We couldn't believe that there was a building like that in the middle of central London that had burnt down. Um, and I just wanted to be a safe and consistent person for yeah. them. Let's have a look. OK, there's a lot of options. Let's start with yeah. helium. Helium? Like Alvin the Chipmunk. I'm gonna mix them with what mine are and what the, what the fans are, I reckon. So I reckon Someone Like You would mm -hmm. be number one. Mm -hmm. I think there's a new song on um, the new album that would be my number second, or be my second one. And then When We Were Young. You know, that could be controversial. Uh, the Hive Might Come and Kill Me. I'm, okay, my personal favorites. <laughs> my first one is Sasha Fierce, that sublime double album. The second one would be Lemonade. Third one is a bit of a toss up between two, but I'm gonna go with my gut and my heart. It was actually really easy. I was just so uncomfortable and nervous up on the stage trying to give that speech mm. right in front of her. Mm -hmm. I just sort of twisted off and fell off in my end. It felt like fate. Incredible. It was live on radio. I don't even know if he knew that he was doing it. He just sort of had to watch the video and read the lyrics, or, you know, read his script and stuff like that. But yeah. he's like everything in the UK. Like we love him so much. Um, and he's my mum's hero. So it was phenomenal. I think all the crazy rumors about my love life, um, you know, since I've been single and stuff like that. They're just, none of it's true, so probably those. No, I've been very, very lucky with that, and I know that, no, never.